This is the all new and amazing 2019 Mercedes A-Class. This is a compact, small size, premium sedan. And I just have to say that Mercedes has done it again. They've raised the bar for small size, premium sedans. When you drive this car, you feel like you're driving the top dog of the Mercedes family, the S-Class. Previously, when you bought an entry-level Mercedes, you didn't really get that true Mercedes feeling, not that luxury, not the ride, the feel, the materials, but with the A-Class, all that has changed. There's nothing that even comes close to the A-Class in the segment, although its competitors are great cars as well, the Audi A3 and the BMW 1 Series. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you why this is the benchmark for the compact premium sedan segment. All right, so let's start with uh, walking around the new A-Class here as it replaces the CLA. It is a brand new model, completely new design. And uh, we'll talk about that in a minute here, but first we'll talk about what's under the hood here. And all A-Classes get a turbocharged inline four cylinder producing 188 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. This one is also a 4Matic, so it is all-wheel drive. And it might not sound like much in today's day and age with massive horsepower in cars, but this power plant actually gets this car to 60 in under 7 seconds. And that's pretty quick for a little 4-cylinder that doesn't even have 200 horsepower. Now one thing I absolutely love about this car is the new color that it has. It's called Digital White. And I don't think that it will do complete justice on camera here. It almost looks like a matte white from afar, but now that the sun is shining down on it, we can see that it is in fact a metallic color. It actually looks sort of similar to Audi's Nardo Gray, but it is indeed a new white color and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, our tester here today also has an optional package called the AMG Line Package, which gives you some uh, additional styling. So if we look up front here, it has a chrome-tipped diamond block grill. And as we move to the side of the A-Class here, we see that it has perforated front discs as well. And the wheels are 18-inch AMG Line wheels, and they're sitting on 225, 45, 18 in diameter tires. It's a good looking car. I uh, have to say it's a big step up from the previous CLA. Now that's just my opinion, but the rear end looks a whole lot better as well. And while we're back here, let's talk trunk space. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this is a small compact sedan and it doesn't have any trunk space, but it does. So in layman's terms, as you can see here, it does fit a six one and a half foot tall, semi-bald Swedish man. Ah. So when we don't have bald Swedes in the back here, you can see for yourself. Now I only have a, you know, a backpack and some camera equipment, but you can easily fit luggage and groceries, everything that you need. Now we got dual chrome tipped exhaust. We even have a little sporty diffuser back here. Now what our tester here today also has is, in my opinion, a mandatory option, and that is the night package, which gives a lot of uh, gloss black trim. We have the side mirrors as well in black. Would be nice if the door handles were black also. Now one thing that's a little weird is that Mercedes has yet to go to the capless fuel tank system that most cars now have. It just simplifies things, you don't have to unscrew this cap every time you get gas. So if we transition back to the front, <laughs> you can see that full airflow through uh, the front grille and also down here. And the headlights are fully LED. The new A-Class kind of looks like the new CLS from the front. And I'm wondering if this is the design language that Mercedes is gonna go with for uh, most of their models coming up here, even the C-Class. Now the rear taillights, fully LED as well, of course. Now it is 100 degrees outside today, so what I think we should do is jump inside because that is where you get the true wow feeling of the new A-Class. The interior is absolutely amazing. So let's check it out. But first, of course, the new key. Of course, it's not the same Mercedes key that's been around since 2002. So that's very nice as well. 
obviously keyless entry. So keep it in your pocket. Put your hand on the door handle. Power retracting side mirrors as we can see here. So we got natural grain black linden wood trim here and Neva gray leather in the doors as well as the seats mixed with black leather as you can see here. Burmeister sound system and typical Mercedes seat controls in the door here as well. We got adjustable settings for three different drivers. And look at that. Now, as soon as you step in and take a seat, you're just amazed. It gives you the feeling of sitting in a uh, much more exclusive Mercedes. Now a box that is a must to check when uh, you're looking at the new A-Class is the premium package, which gives you the dual 10.2 inch digital screen. So we have a digital instrument cluster right here and then uh, an infotainment screen over here. And the resolution is just fantastic. The new touchpad controller here controls that screen. We'll get into that here in just a minute, but it also has the upgraded steering wheel with touchpad controls right here, where you can scroll through the information screen here in the middle of the instrument cluster. We've got cruise control over here and then volume and then your phone buttons and everything here, voice commands, although the new MBUX system, when paired to your Mercedes Me app, doesn't really do voice commands anymore. It is so advanced, so you can basically have a conversation with your A-Class and uh, ask anything you want. The nearest coffee shop, any navigation, instructions that you might need where you can find a gym. It's basically like a concierge. I can't really demonstrate that now because this car is not hooked up to a Mercedes Me app. So, yeah. So she's triggered every time you say Mercedes. <laughs> what can I do for you? Cancel. So all you really have to do is say, hey Mercedes. How can I help you? So like I said, you can either navigate through this button right here or you use the touchpad. And the new A-Class gets 64 different colors of ambient lighting, ocean blue, your purple sky. I like ocean blue. And you can see here, even though it's daylight, it lights up the whole car. The air vents will light up as well. And it's just such a classy, classy feel in here. Now we're gonna go to vehicle. And then you can go dynamic select. You can do an individual configuration of uh, either comfort, sport, or eco as we have here. Now I'm just doing a quick run through here, but we're gonna go down to the different themes. So you have trip, and if I select that, the instrument cluster here changes up. We're gonna do experience. Look at that. Now this is what it will look like if you have dynamic select in sport so we have performance pages here as well it's just it's it's amazing you can go to efficiency there's just so much configurating that you can do but if we just take a look at the design of the air vents I mean it looks absolutely amazing now all through the interior here we have a black gloss trim which looks good but I don't know if the camera's catching this here you can it can easily get a lot of fingerprints and uh, yeah, that doesn't look all that great, but when it's clean, <laughs> it looks phenomenal. And we got a moonroof. Way too hot to have this open today though, but for demonstration purposes, we'll close it once again. <laughs> I'm sure ladies will like to know that there's a light for the visor mirror here, and even on the driver's side. Now before we take it out on the road, we gotta of course check the Room in the back seat, which uh, it works, it's tight for a six foot two or six one and a half man like myself. And if I'm sitting behind a driver my height, yeah, it's, it's tight. Now we can fold the center part down here. Then we got two cup holders. Now these back seats are split folding, by the way, so you can increase your cargo space. Now before we take it out on the road here, we'll take a look at the price. So it starts at $34,000. With some, in my opinion, necessary packages, we land at around $40,000. This is $43,580. And you get a lot for that money. We'll talk more about that as soon as we 
get out on the road here but I figured I'd show you guys some of the options that are on here and sort of what it costs to spec a new A-Class Mercedes. Now standard features include panorama sunroof, we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto of course, Bluetooth, power front seats, you guys can see it for yourselves and these are the optional packages on this A-Class. But I'm itching to get this thing out on the road because that's where it belongs. Now like we said in the beginning of the video, they are setting the bar for small size premium sedans. The ride feel in the new A-Class is so good that I, I don't really know how to describe it. I've never driven a car uh, of this size in the segment that feels as premium as the new A-Class Mercedes does. Now this little four-cylinder definitely gets up and moving. But just look at the sight that you have from the driver's position. Does this look like a 40,000 some dollar small size sedan? No, it does not. It looks like a top of the line luxury sedan. It's just amazing. Mercedes is killing the interior game. There is no other car in the segment or in its class that can come close to the new A-Class. It's just so impressive. I mean, this looks so much better than the C-Class I reviewed here recently, the C63 AMG. Yeah, it just, it, it looks so much better. And look at this ambient lighting here. Amazing. We'll put it in sport here. Look at that. And then we're gonna shift manually as well. This is a seven speed automatic transmission. Uh, it actually says DCT on the sticker here but to my knowledge Mercedes does not have a dual clutch transmission now I'm shifting with the paddles here and the shifts are instant oh wow I didn't notice I was driving that fast I might have to slow down <laughs> now with it being a Mercedes of course it is jam-packed with technology we have blind spot information system we also have disc tronic available which is adaptive cruise control you also have an auto parking feature but the main thing that impresses me about the new a-class is just the overall feel of it when you step into this car you can tell that you're stepping into a Mercedes and that's what impresses me so much that it, it, it doesn't feel like you're in an entry-level Mercedes it feels like you're in an S-Class. Now, although we have some hard plastics up here on the dashboard and also on top of the door here, we do have a leather-wrapped steering wheel. The seats are just amazing. They're so soft. The smoothness of the ride, it just gives you an exclusive feel, and this is an entry-level car from the Mercedes lineup. So Mercedes is claiming that fuel consumption is 28 miles per gallon on average. It's 25 in the city and 33 on the highway, which is pretty good. Uh, nowadays with a lot of hybrids out there, I mean, you can get way over 50 before a uh, gasoline driven sedan, 33 miles per gallon is a pretty nice number. And like I said, the four cylinder is peppy with its 188 horsepower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quicker overview of the 2019 Mercedes A220. I wanna give a special thanks to my friends at Bobby Ray Home Mercedes for providing the car in today's review. This one is currently for sale. I'll leave all their contact information along with their full inventory in the description below. But before we end here, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite feature of the new A220 is. And if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.